Hello, welcome to Computer Education for All Computer Generations. History of computers is a chain that runs from the ancient abacus and the analytical engine of the 19th century through the modern quantum computers of present age. It is generally divided into five generations. Each generation of computers is characterized by major technological developments of that time. First generation computers 1940 to 1956. First generation computers emerged in the late 1940s and lasted through the early 1950s, were characterized by the use of vacuum tube technology. Vacuum tubes were used as a main electronic devices in the first generation computers. It consists of a glass tube containing electrodes, cathode, anode, and some additional elements in a partial vacuum. A vacuum tube is shown as fig, one to nine, tube. The following are some characteristics of first generation computers. Vacuum tubes were used in first-generation computers. The processing speed was slow. Memory capacity was limited. These cursive occupying entire rooms. First-generation computers were both costly and unreliable. They consumed significant power and generated substantial heat. Input relied on punched cards. Output was obtained. Output was obtained through printouts via electric typewriters. Machine language was the only programming paradigm. Some examples of first-generation mini-mainframe computers are ENIAC, UNIVAC I, IBM 604, Mark I, and EDSAC. Second-generation gen second computers 1956-1963. Second-generation computers emerged in the late 1950s and extended through the early 1960s. This period marked a significant advancement in computing technology characterized by the transition from vacuum tubes to transistors. This transistor functions like a vacuum tube. It was faster, more reliable, smaller, and much cheaper than vacuum tube. A transistor is 1.10 transistor. The following are some characteristics of second-generation computers. Second-generation computers replaced vacuum tubes with transistors, leading to enhanced efficiency. The adoption of transistors resulted in a reduction in computer by improvements in speed and memory capacity. Second-generation computers demonstrated increased reliability and cost-effectiveness. Key input and output methods included punch card readers, magnetic tapes, magnetic disks, and printers. Assembly language was employed for programming purposes. This generation introduced high-level programming languages such as Fortran and COBOL. Some examples of second-generation computers comprise UNIVAC IIABM 7030, General Electric GE 635, and Control Data Corporation CDC 1604 computers. Third-generation computers 1963-1971. Third generation computers emerged in the 1960s and extended into the 1970s. This era marked further advancements in computing technology, characterized by the use of integrated circuits ICs and the development of smaller, faster, and more reliable systems. IC chips are shown in FIG.1-11. FIG. The following are the characteristics of third generation of computers. Third-generation computers used integrated circuit IC chips. The utilization of IC chips led to enhancements in computer speed and memory. These computers demonstrated improvements in energy efficiency, size reduction, cost effectiveness, and reliability compared to second-generation computers. Interaction with third-generation computers involved the use of a keyboard and monitor. These computers had the capability to concurrently run multiple application programs. Do you know? Intel invented the world's first microprocessor, the Intel 4004, in November 1971. Examples of third-generation computers include IBM System 360 and Control Data Corporation's 3300 and 6600 computers. Present. Fourth generation computers, starting from late 70s to the present, are characterized by significant advancements in technology, 
particularly the development of large-scale integration LSI and very large-scale integration VLSI chips. One of the key innovations of this era was the development of the microprocessor, a single chip capable of handling all processing tasks within a A microprocessor is shown in FIG 1 to 12. The following are the characteristics of fourth generation of computers. The introduction of microprocessors marked a defining feature of fourth generation computers, leading to the emergence of microcomputers. Fourth generation computers are known for exceptional speed, large storage capacity, and the incorporation of advanced input output devices. Microcomputers in this generation are characterized by their small size, high reliability, low power consumption, and affordability. A wide variety of software became available for use in microcomputers during the fourth generation. Operating systems with graphical user interfaces GIS were developed during this period, enhancing user interaction and experience. Fourth generation computers support multimedia software, enabling the integration of text, image, sound, and video. These computers are compatible with modern programming languages such as Visual Basic, C, Java, and Python, facilitating the development of powerful software applications. Fourth generation computers support a diverse range of portable and wireless input output CT devices. Examples of microprocessors developed during this era include the Intel Pentium series, Dual Core, Core 2 Duo, Core i3, i5-17, and AMD Athlon. Notable fourth generation computer models include the IBM ThinkPad series, HP Pavilion series, Dell Inspiron series, as well as Apple's MacBook Pro and MacBook Air series. Fifth generation computers. The timeline for the fifth generation is not as precisely defined as the earlier generations, but it is generally associated with ongoing advancements in computing that were expected to emerge in the late 20th century and beyond. The main objective of fifth generation of computers is to develop devices that can understand natural languages and have thinking power. This is a big challenge for computer developers to design such systems and software for them. The following are the characteristics of fifth generation of computers. The primary focus of fifth generation computers is to develop and utilize L artificial intelligence technologies. This involves machines called robots with the capability to learn, think, innovate, reason, and solve problems automatically and independently. Fifth generation computers support advanced parallel processing capabilities allowing them to execute multiple tasks simultaneously and handle complex computations more efficiently. A key aspect of fifth-generation computing is the ability to understand and respond to human languages. This involves developing systems capable of NLP natural language processing and communication. Computers are planned to incorporate advanced ES expert systems, which are software programs designed to replicate the decision-making abilities of a human experts in specific fields, like medical, mining, and engineering. In this generation of computers, user interfaces have become more intuitive and user-friendly, incorporating features like voice recognition and gesture-based controls. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share with all friends to help them in their studies and exam preparation. Thanks for watching and your kind cooperation.